These are cozy and cute. Cozy and cute. They'll keep you warm and you'll also look fabulous. Five coat styles that I think every woman needs in her wardrobe in today's video. Hey, this is Netta. Welcome to my channel. My whole goal for this channel is to help you build your best wardrobe, a wardrobe that gets you out the door every single day, looking and feeling your best and really fully supporting whatever your day brings. So we all have different days. We all have different lifestyles. And I want you to get dressed in a way that helps you show up in your best way every single day. I believe we all deserve that. We all definitely need that these days. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here cheering you on as your fashion friend. So very happy to have you here if you are new i hope that by the end of the video you'll consider subscribing and joining us uh, we have a great community here and i'm so excited that it has been growing so um, steadily on YouTube. Okay, I also have to tell you about my HL Style program because if you want ongoing support from a personal stylist and you want it in an affordable way, a way that works with your own schedule, a, a self-paced way and a fully supported way, then I would encourage you to check out my HL Style program. It's the sweetest community of women on um, Facebook and um, I have a separate uh, portal where you can log in and where I will do your body type and your color and all of the things but you get ongoing support in zoom calls and in a facebook group and um, access to me and, and you know my eyes on your wardrobe and on the outfits that you're sharing and it's just really the most affordable way i can think of to hire a stylist and kind of get that ongoing support in your style so i'd love to have you in it if it's something that you are interested in Okay, let's get started with today's topic because we're talking about coats today. And before you dismiss my coat video because I live in Florida, I will tell you that I lived in Chicago and in Boston for years. I'm very familiar with coats. And today we're gonna to talk about coats that are lifestyle coats, like everyday type coats, not sports coats, like not ski coats or whatever other kind of coats that people use when they're doing outdoor things in the winter. I still don't understand why people do outdoor things in the winter, but that's an entirely different video. So we're gonna talk about coats that you can wear in your actual everyday life. And the five coats that I think that every woman would benefit from having in her wardrobe. These are coats that are the most versatile, the most timeless, um, the most wearable, and coats that just will, will work in most women's everyday lives. Okay, so let's get started. The first coat I want to talk about, it's one I talk about all the time, and it's a trench coat. It's a trench coat. Now, this trench coat, I'm going to hold it up, and then I'm going to, I'll am gonna i put up a clip. This is my trench coat from Anthropology. I bought it years ago. I want to say definitely over 10 years ago, maybe longer. Um, the thing about a trench coat is it is truly one of the very few timeless items that you can buy in your wardrobe. Um, this was not expensive, but if you spend a lot of money on a trench coat, you will wear it still for the rest of your life. So of course, a trench coat is going to be one of those pieces that I'm going to recommend maybe spending at the higher end of your price point for. Um, and I love it because it's a great transitional coat. For those of you in really cold climates, it's a great early fall um, or spring coat. For those of us in Florida, this is my year round coat. It's my go-to coat. This is the only coat that I generally need most days in Florida. So it's just a great lightweight coat. The other benefit of a trench is that it acts as a completer piece in a lot of outfits. You're gonna see a lot of cute outfits on Pinterest and on Instagram where the trench takes the place of that jacket and the outfit. It's just a great layering piece and it's a great completer piece. Um, I love a belted trench. I think a belted trench is going to be the most flattering trench silhouette. And I like a classic trench with classic trench details on it. Now, if you don't like belting across the, you know, your waistline because you feel like it over amplifies a tummy area, then consider still getting a belted trench and tying the belt in the back. One of my um, comments, um, she commented about this and I've talked about this in, in other videos. If you tie a belt in the back, um, it just gives subtle waist definition while not adding any emphasis to your belly area. So a trench is a great completer piece. When worn open, tying it at the back is a great little hack because it can take away the bulk that's on the sides of the jacket. Um, again, though, I think it's just one of those pieces that every woman needs. I really do like the iconic either camel or this one is kind of a darker camel, which is why it works a little bit better for my skin tone. I have a harder time with wearing camel. I only wear camel and coats and then I layer it over colors that are more suited to my color palette. So I do really like a classic camel trench, but if camel is not for you, go for another neutral. It can be gray, it can be navy, it can be black, whatever that best neutral is for you and just choose an iconic classic trench 
in a neutral color. Now I'm going to share a couple of my favorites with you. Of course, the Burberry is the most iconic. It's the most classic. It's where it all began in that British khaki color. And I love the Burberry trench. So if that's in your budget, it's, it's definitely worth the investment because it is going to be a piece that you're going to have forever and you're going to pass down to your kids. Seriously, it's that kind of a, uh, a, a an investment piece. And I really think it's worth the money. Okay, if you are looking for something more affordable, I love a waterproof trench with um, a hood. Like one of the th one of only downsides of trenches that I see is it rains a lot in Florida, and trenches don't usually come with hoods, and we need we need that protection whether it's rain or snow. So London Fog has this. It's very affordable. The double-breasted hooded trench, water-resistant coat. Love this. It's a classic trench style with a detachable hood. A detachable hood. Like every every coat that has a hood, the hood should be detachable because you can wear it when you want to. You can take it off when you don't want to. So it doesn't interfere with your hair, right? So I love this. It's a great option for $159. Really, really nice option. So London Fog and Burberry are the two go-to brands that I recommend for trench coats a lot. But there are so many brands that make great trench coats. Zara comes out with new um, trendy ones, different colors, different patterns, different textures year after year. Zara is very much known for their trenches, also very affordable. Um, Avec Les Fee has a great one with a hood, but it's not removable. But Avec Les Fee is one of my go-to brands for coats. Really, really nice coats at really reasonable prices, kind of department store prices. Made well, their trenches go up to a size 4X. This is a great trench um, and a little bit of a deeper camel color, which is really, really nice. And then Everlane is also known for beautiful trenches. But you can get trenches anywhere, and this is a really, really great item to pick up thrifted. If you find a thrifted trench, you know, like I said, they're timeless. They don't go out of style. There's no reason to not buy them thrifted if that's an option for you. So a trench is definitely an iconic piece that I think every woman should have in her coat wardrobe. Okay, the second coat I want to talk about is a faux fur or a shearling coat. So I'm going to pop up. I'm wearing my Petite Studio faux fur coat. It is my new BFF. I love this coat. It is the best. It is so soft. It is so cozy. It is so warm. It's um, fully lined and it's sized and scaled for petite. The shoulders hit in the right place, the arms are the right length, like all of the details just checks the boxes for me. It is a cropped jacket style. It's perfect for me and my climate. Like, this is a great faux fur coat. I think it's just a fabulous option. Now, faux fur is obviously can be trendy, but it can also, but it also really never fully goes out of style. I definitely recommend faux fur over real fur. However, if you have real fur and you, you know that's been in your family or been in your wardrobe for a really long time, I mean, definitely wear it. You already have it, right? But for those of us who are um, looking at investing in a new coat, a faux fur to me is the best option. So, um, Stan Studio, it's a brand I've been talking about here a lot of contemporary brand they make very very cool faux fur and shearling which is the other option i think like faux fur or shearling of course you can have both but a faux fur or shearling coat is a great option stan studio does great shearling coats max mara does beautiful beautiful like their teddy coat like the coziest high-end faux fur like just lovely luxury coat um petite studio of course i mentioned gallery does great affordable coats they're available at nordstrom they have beautiful affordable faux fur coats if you want to faux fur coat that feels like a luxury mink that maybe you dreamed of when you were little feels like looks more natural anyway looks more like um a, a like a real fur coat then donna salyers um makes these faux fur coats that really look like the real thing but with um, a better price tag and obviously more humane so donna salyers um on nordstrom really really great um kind of more natural looking fur coats. So of course with faux fur, you can go with a fun color, a texture, something interesting, a little bit more trendy, or you can go with something classic. Again, if you're buying the first version of any of these coats, I recommend going for a more classic option and then getting a funkier or more trendy or more fun version down the road. Okay, the next coat I want to talk about is a puffer. A puffer is the winter coat for many women. It is um, casual. It is uh, War, like cold weather friendly, like snow friendly. It is waterproof. It's just a very, very practical coat for really, really cold climates. Now, for those of us not in really cold climates, I have my favorite um, H&M puffer jacket. I wear this one all the time. This is the perfect weight for Florida. It's a great um, 
streamlined puffer jacket. So for those of you who either tend to be top heavy or you just don't want to add a lot of bulk to your uh, frame and you don't need the warmth of a really bulky jacket, then consider going with a more streamlined puffer jacket in a neutral color. Um, like I said, mine is from H&M. It was very affordable. It was like under $50. So it doesn't have to be super expensive, but you're going to want to go maybe with down or with something warmer and cozier, of course, if you live in a colder climate. So Bernardo makes very affordable puffer jackets in, that are very, very good quality. Bernardo is just a go-to brand for coats. They make all different coat styles and they are generally really affordable. Great brand for puffer jackets. Again, you're going to find these at all the, the fast fashion stores. You're going to find them at all the department Department stores you'll find them at every price point um, Walmart has a really great puffer jacket right now um, so I will link all of these in the catalog that is in the description box always um, so you're, you're gonna find them everywhere at every price point um, Levi's has a great faux leather puffer that's a fun option this season I think this is really fabulous also affordable um, Goldberg on a high end is a beautiful high-end brand of faux fur, I'm mean, sorry, of puffer jackets. And I love this red and hot pink striped one. I think it's incredible. So, so cool. Um, but they of course have solids as well. Montclair is the gold standard for really high end, beautiful, um, very, very cozy, ski friendly and snow friendly puffer jackets. And Macage is another higher end puffer jacket brand that is just beautiful. And like I drool over their puffer jackets. I wish I had more of a place in my life to wear puffer jackets because they are just stunning. Um, shinier puffer jackets um, and funkier puffer jackets are in style right now. So again, if you've checked that neutral puffer jacket box already, you can go with something a little bit more trendy if you choose. Um, but know that, you know, a trendy piece obviously is not going to stay in style as long as a, a more classic piece. Um, and of course, you're going to want to consider whether you want to go short or long. That's going to depend on your climate. If it's if, if it's really freezing where you're at, you're going to want to go for a long puffer jacket and maybe have it belted or have have some some element in it that's going to make it a little bit more stylish go for the most stylish long jacket that you can but obviously the priority is for you to be warm right okay the next category i want to talk about is a classic wool or cashmere coat this is your everyday coat, your everyday coat, your most iconic and most uh, wearable and most um, practical, versatile, all of the things. You want this classic wool or cashmere coat to be in your best neutral color. Um, if you wear a lot of black, you might consider it in black, but you could also consider it in a different neutral that pairs well with the neutrals that you wear a lot. So you really just want that classic and iconic coat silhouette that is um, in, in you want it ideally i think it can be it can be a pea coat it can be um a, like a car coat style it can be just a classic overcoat style i like a belted version of these i think that's always going to be the best option so um you want that classic wool or cashmere coat and really wool or cashmere depends on your preferences and of course on your budget so Max Mara, Max Mara, Max Mara makes the beautiful high-end stunning um, wool and cashmere blend coat that everyone talks about. It's just beautiful. It's an investment piece, but it's absolutely something you're going to have in your wardrobe for the rest of your life. So if that's something that's in your budget, you know, definitely that's one to check out. Loro Piana, even at the higher end, makes sumptuous cashmere coats that are just um, iconic and so, so elegant, like that Italian cashmere, just elegance, right? Um, Sophia Cashmere makes more affordable, still expensive, but more affordable cashmere coats. Um, it, that's an option to look at. And then of course, in terms of just the classic wool or wool cashmere blend coat, you're gonna find them everywhere, everywhere, from H&M to J. Crew to, you know, Banana Republic, any of your favorite stores, your favorite department stores, or brands. Avec Le Fee does really great wool overcoats. Um, Sam Edelman, all of the contemporary brands do really, really nice wool and wool cash, wool and cashmere blend overcoats. So definitely that classic coat in a neutral color is a, a great option. Mine is from Petite Studio. It is a beautiful cashmere, uh, not sorry, um, wool blend, and it is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's a, um, a camel color, again, the color that I only wear in coats. And it's very, very elegant, very timeless. And it's a piece I'm going to have in my wardrobe for a really long time. I'm obsessed with this coat. I absolutely love it. So wool or wool and cashmere or cashmere 
classic coat is and this is a dress coat too this is a coat that you can wear if you're you know it, you know if you're going to you can you can do maybe um your trench or your wool coat if you're going to be dressing up if you've got a longer faux fur coat that could also work over options for evening over evening friendly clothes okay a statement coat that's my final category and one that might might be considered optional but don't dismiss it because think about it what, what people see of you when you're walking around in your everyday life is your coat. If you're walking around outside, people are just gonna see your coat. I remember that in Chicago, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, my coat is the only thing people see in my outfits. So I picked up, this is an old one, and I've, I will never get rid of it. It is a personality piece. It's definitely a statement piece for me. It's my Marc Jacobs red, kind of lightweight wool coat with this um, wine velvet and white ruffle trim. It is absolutely me in a coat. If I were a coat, this would be the coat. And I just absolutely love it. I Will have it forever. A statement coat really says something about your personality and it adds interest to the, the neutral and basic pieces that we often wear in cold weather. So consider a statement coat in your wardrobe if you've got all the other boxes checked. Now, how do you make a statement with a coat? You either choose a color. It can just be a classic shaped trench or a classic shaped wool coat, any of these styles. But in a statement color, that makes it a statement coat, right? So just choosing a different color can make it a statement coat. I also love um, adding maybe some details that make it a little bit more statementy. This one from Sam Edelman, the crested button wool crested button wool blend coat with gold buttons on it. This is a fabulous statement coat at a very affordable price. So it's got color and then it's got these gold button details on the lapels here on the on the front here that make it really, really interesting and really elevated. Love that option. Um, if you want a patterned coat, the Desig this Desig Well, one of my favorite brands, their Tommy plaid overcoat. This is a fun statement coat in a plaid. So you want to ask yourself, like, do I wear a lot of neutrals in the fall and winter? Then a colorful coat is actually a really worthwhile investment and can add fun and also perk up your spirits in the cold weather. So I hope that you found this interesting five coat styles that I think every woman needs. And, um, you know, really at the end of the day, you obviously want to dress for your climate, but there's no reason why we can't have it all. We can be cozy and we can be cute. We can be cozy and we can be cute. I talked about that in my sweaters video. There's no reason to have warmth only when you can have warmth and style. So love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, definitely give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so we can keep hanging out some more. And don't forget to comment below. Let me know which of these styles you're looking for. So maybe I can help you find it in the comments and which um, you have and you wear on repeat. What's your favorite one? of the five coat uh, types that I talked about in today's video. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.